West African Cotton Company is incorporated in Nigeria and is engaged in cotton ginning, selling of cotton lint and textile mill waste. It has its ginery in Funtua, Gazana State, the heart of the cotton growing belt in Nigeria. The company has the capacity to gin over 50,000 metric tons of seed cotton per season. It also contributes to the development of cotton production zones through various farmer-oriented schemes. The production manager of Wacot Limited conducted us round the facilities to show us the equipment the company acquired through the Bank of Industry. As you can see from here, this is our raw material from the farm. As it is, it's brought in from the farm to our production floor. This, this place you are seeing is where the raw materials are fed into the machines. And you can see from here, a pipe. At this pipe we call it telescope. This is where the materials are fed into the machine by a soaking air. We call it suction, suction air. That is where it's fed to the machine. These three units you are seeing outside are the cleaning, pre-cleaning plants. The doors, what they do is they remove trash and fine particles from the raw material, which is seed cotton, before it's being taken into the machine. This is the key of our process line. Where anywhere you see a blue arrow, it indicates moisture flow. Anywhere you see a dotted arrow, green dotted arrow, is showing just air flow. Anywhere you see a complete green arrow, is showing material flow. Why the, the yellow arrow I can see is showing the trash flow, where the trash goes out. Then we have the black arrow that shows the seed flow, and the red arrow is showing the fire valve. This is a digital control panel, and it has soft touch, and uh, in, also has an alarm lock, where you can see the alarm, and it's self control When you want to start, it will start itself, and if there's any issue, it will indicate where there's issue, and it can shut down itself. So that, this is, uh, we have two of these in Africa, and this is just one out of the two. One is in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and this is the second one for now. After the pre-cleaning from the outside, after being fed, then it comes through this unit at the top. And that unit you are seeing, it's called the rock catcher, rock catcher. And that rock catcher, what it does is, it helps in removing heavier particles on open balls of cotton. Then it now drop to this pipe, to that drum. You can see though it has been evacuated, but we have some, you can see there's a little stone there, something like that, and some of the things that will drop from this pipe to this drum. It's showing the flow of the material after the rock catcher, then it comes to this unit, the top unit you are seeing, or the complete unit is called the Big J. And it's segmented into three parts. The top is the suction separator, the middle is the suction hopper, then the other part is called the vacuum section. Top is where the air and the cotton is being separated. It now falls by gravity into the second stage, which is the storage hopper, the suction hopper. The suction hopper now in the in the big J, there are two air operating here, the sucking air and the blowing air. So the after dropping in the suction hopper, the vacuum uh, the vacuum section is one that, con that cut off the blowing and the sucking air. This arrow you are seeing in this pipe, on this pipe is where the blowing air comes. After the material is sucked, it's discharged at the bottom. Then the blowing air now blows the material to the next cleaning line. That unit at the top with pulleys, about six pulleys on it, is called the inclined cleaner. Inclined cleaner. That inclined cleaner, we have two of them that does the same thing. One is here, the other one is at the other end. If you can see, at the other side, you see at the top side, the same range, you see it there. What it does, it separates trash also and fine particles of, uh, 
of adulterated uh, material fine, foreign material, sorry, fine in the raw material. Now from the inclined cleaners, the material is now discharged into the uh, uh, conveyor, distributor conveyor. Why it's called distributor conveyor? Because it's the one that distributes the material on the various points of Gini. Here is mechanically driven, no air is operated here. Whatever comes in, drops into, from the inclined cleaners, drops into this distributor conveyor, which distributes the material to different ginning points. We have three ginning points. And uh, in each of the points, we have boxes. We call them hopper, gin stand hoppers. And uh, in the hoppers, it drops. After filling this, it will move to the next. Filling it, it will move to the next. Then whatever is excess, go to the overflow hopper. From the overflow hopper, it's recirculate again through this pipe back to the disputer conveyor. This is where the gene takes, up, uh, takes place proper, where the separation of the seed from the fiber is taking place. This is the ginning point. Other processes we have seen are all cleaning points, but this is where we call the ginning point. That is where we even get the word generic from. Ginning, generic. We have roller genes and we have saw genes. This is a roller gene. The capacity is 116 store. So, you can see 116. We have different capacity. We have 108, 208, different capacity. But this is 116. We have two qualities. After the genome takes place, we, have, we produce two qualities. We, have, we call one the mega, and we call the second one the mega super. The mega is the one that just passed through the super jet cleaner, then to our packaging area. While the mega super is the one that passed through the super jet, then the lint cleaner then goes to our packing, uh, packaging area. The packaging area now starts from the base press. The base press comprises of two boxes and what we call the tramper and the ramp. These are the major factors that operate on the base press. One, the tramper is one that tramps in incoming cutting in the first empty box, while the other box is kept empty. When that one is filled up, this is, it will signal fill, then the whole box will rotate. These two boxes you are seeing, you hold, this whole unit will rotate. After it rotates, it will bring the full one to the ramp side, then bring the empty one to the ramp side. In the ramp side, it's being compressed to a smaller form for easy transportation. Then it's being knotted by a copper tie. The bag is inserted on this bail, uh, bail bag and the bag 100%. Why it's 100%? Because both sides, all sides are being sealed. So that's for 100% bagging system. After bagging, it automatically weighs. This is a weighing scale and this is a digital weighing scale. This is the indicator. Whatever weight is produced, it will indicate on this uh, indicator. From here, we we'll take you to our parking area. This is what I told us, 100% bagging system. The top is stitched. Now nothing tempers with whatever is being produced. No, uh, no stain, nothing. So whatever we have produced, after this way, that's how it's being sold.